Great morning. Inspirational nugget of wisdom, part two. Sit back and enjoy it together with me. Hello, this is Dr. Elizabeth Lucan Safolalu, your inspirational lady. I'm here again to share the inspirational nugget of wisdom. And I believe that your life will never be the same again. It's a time for us to transform our lives, our relationships, and our career, our leadership, even our entrepreneurship. So stay with me. But before I go on, let me first of all invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, because that is the only way you can encourage me and empower me to keep on sharing my inspiration with Nugget of Wisdom. So thank you so much for doing that. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. So let's start. The first step to getting somewhere is to decide that you are not going to stay where you are. Keep moving. Stretch yourself to new heights. There is no limit to how high you can go. You deserve happiness and you deserve success. I also want to say, you can't judge things from a distance because you will tell the lies or half truth, half truth. An airplane looks small when it's on the sky, but the more you get closer to it, you realize how big. Don't judge yourself and think that you can't do something because you can do it. Yes, you can. Try it because I know you can find it and you can do it. So don't judge yourself and think you can't do something before you try it because you can find out that you really can do it. And I'm telling you, Yes, you can. Don't allow people to discourage you because most of them don't know what you are capable of. They don't know you. You are bigger than the situation you are facing right now. And you cannot allow their opinions to limit you. So it is about focus on yourself and be you. Don't bow to the challenges you're facing right now. They are not there to destroy you, but to prepare you for greatness. So rise up above it because you can. And you can overcome it. And you can witness, you can experience it. And then you can come up higher and become better, wiser, and stronger. Life has taught me that you cannot control someone's loyalty. No matter how good you are to them, doesn't mean that they will treat you the same. No matter how much they mean to you, doesn't mean that they really have value to you the same way. So the less the expectation from others, focus on what you are doing. And let them be there and let them be, let you be you. Let it come right from inside of you that whatever you desire to make or become, you shall surely make it and become. You shall do a suitable great and you can become and achieve a succeed. Understand God created you to be a masterpiece. A masterpiece. Manifest it. Demonstrate it. You have the gifts, the talent, and the skills to make life worth. A living. Use them. Discover your gifts. Develop your gifts. And demonstrate or exhibit your gifts. And it will make room for you. 
synergize with positive, like-minded people and our routine spirit. Do you know that the future is brighter than how you perceive it now? Work things out by occupying space with your potentials. I see you flourishing and blowing and blow, blossoming with your faith and hard work. You shall have experience of greatness. The only time, the only two limits to your ability to produce results in this area are are you switch on or are where you are, are where you are to other people's posture, gesture, and speech pattern. The elegance with which you can match them in dance of rapport. So build rapport with everyone. You cannot make anyone love you, but you can love yourself. Let yourself be loved. Celebrate who you are. Love yourself. Appreciate the uniqueness that God has done and make yourself lovable. Then you will see people being attracted to you. What is most valuable is not what you are in your lives, but who you are in your lives. Very important. You may have the whole world and lose one key thing. And that is relationship. You cannot be a woman. You cannot be an animal. A tree cannot be a force. You have to work with people. You will have the whole world. But if you don't have people with you, you will be frustrated. You will be lonely. But I want to believe that as you are earning and gathering, so also know or build relationship around you. Stop gossiping. Stop abiding. Stop complaining. Stop blaming. All these things are toxic to your relationship. All these things are toxic to your life. And all these things will hold you back, will destroy you, and will limit you. But instead, start producing, start creating, innovating, developing, and also open up to new skills and new change. It is not good to compare yourself to others. I always say that. Or compete or copy others. All will be judged individually on your own merit, not a group and not on a comparison basis. You have to be yourself. I always say something. You came to this world on your own. When you leave this world, you are going on your own. So be you, as it be to you. Love yourself. Enjoy who you are and what you can do. A rich person is not the one who has the most, but is the one who needs the least. So it is not what you want that matters. It is what you need that matters. And once you gather what you need, be willing to share with others that have been working. It is only takes a few seconds to open profound wounds in personal love. It takes many years to heal them. So forgive yourself in respect of your background, and what has happened in the past. Release yourself, free yourself, and be happy again. 
And by that, you'll be able to forgive others and let go. Therefore, move away from grudges and bitterness and be happy. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. People will forget what you wear, how you look. But they will not forget how you make them feel. Make it a point to inspire and motivate and encourage everyone around you. Watch what you say to people. What you say even in their people, about them. I want to say behind them. Be careful, because words are so sharper like a sword. It kills internally. It damages emotions. So make it a point to lift somebody up, to encourage them, and stay the spirit in their heart, and be there for them. He will never forget you. When you discipline those that are close to you, resist the urge to make excuses and blame others. Take responsibility of your action and ask for forgiveness. Do not abandon your faith or your values to follow the crowd. The crowd might be wrong, and you might be right. Stand out and be distinguished. Let your J be real and your no. Let your no be no and let your yes be yes. Never pretend to be who you are not, nor hide from your true self. And also, do not hide your faith and your belief. Of others. Working hard can seem futile and tired sometimes, but there is really no substitute for hard work. Persistence pays off in the world. When you experience hurt or disappointment by people, you trust. You may want to retreat into yourself, or you may want to quit or isolate yourself, but don't do what a real man does, love anyone. You will be tempted like you've never been tempted before. Alcohol, drugs, sex, porn. It takes character and determination not to succumb to these temptations. Tap into it every time the need arises. Rise above the temptations. There is no point talking about unity when your action speaks opposite. Unity starts from you. Keep unity. You can only unite when you show love and forgive and tolerate and understand others. Very, very important. Discouragement and disappointment may try to pull you down. But one thing is sure, God is with you and you are not alone. Hold on to God and be strong. Be patient, be prayerful, be smart, be positive, be happy, and be blessed by the Lord. Keep up the good work, for in due season you shall reap and enjoy what you are sowing. The world is waiting for you to use your gift to solve your problem. The gift in you, we always make room for you if you use it. You have something truly special that only you are capable of bringing to the life 
and shame to this world. You can laugh, love, explore, live your life in the fullness. Even when you feel like things aren't going your way and others refuse to acknowledge the brilliance you have inside you, don't stop. Keep learning, keep laughing, keep enjoying. We only have so much time on this planet. All this overthinking and living in fear is tiresome. So choose to live and be trust and enjoy where you are to where you are going. Choose to do the things that you know your heart is calling you to do and believe you are born you can choose to believe and act as someone who is born to be rich in flow and be happy, even as you firmly step onto the narrow path to your destiny. It is not always perfect in the short term, but when you look back, you will see that everything always works for your good. Never forget that. Remember you have greatness within you. If you do your very best to death, to live full and die empty, you'll be able to make the most of this great blessing more cool life. Remember you have a unique gift. You have something truly special that only you are capable of bringing to life, sharing with the world. There are people everyone can relate to. We face challenges in various areas of our lives, but we choose to be courageous and overcome them. We take the chances that show on our way, and we make the changes that open up doors for more fulfilling and meaningful. It's the events in our life that shape us, or it's our choice that define us. Whatever the situation, whatever the challenges, the power is within us and we have the choice. Very, very important. Personal relationship like that of Abraham and Moses, James 2 to 23, takes time to develop a close friendship. But was purposeful. The man knew what he wanted, acts definitely purpose, definite purpose. Take your needs and consent to the Lord in your prayer as God for your desire and be specific, be purposeful. Let me tell you something about push, P U S H. Push, pray until something happens. Don't stop praying. Keep praying. Keep acting. Keep believing. Keep trusting. There is no need to argue over something so insignificant because our passage down here has such a short duration. And to darken it with quarrel, brutal arguments, unforgiveness, ungratefulness, and bad attitude will be a waste of time and energy. Did people break your friends? They can. The journey is so short. Did someone betray, bully, cheat, humiliate you? They can. Forgive. The journey is too short. Whatever penalty anything, anyone serve you, let's remember that the journey is so short. Finally, finally, for this episode of Inspirational Marketing, wisdom. Let us therefore be fulfilled. Be, let us therefore be filled with gratitude and sweetness. Sweetness is a virtue, never lacking to bad character nor cowardice, or better likely to greatness. Our journey together down here is really short, 
and cannot be reversed. So with this, I will say, take charge, keep smiling, stay positive, help others, share your greatness, use your gifts, be happy, stay on top, and be blessed. And I will feel. Thank you.